let's go on and talk about two operators that are used to query array. First operator is all, and this operator requires list of values. And it will look for arrays that have all those values specified in the list. Arrays may have also more values than you specify here. Next operator is size. It is very simple. It just needs a number as a value. And it will look for documents with an array of certain size. For example, three elements, four elements, and so on. Let's look at an example. In the first example, we are looking for documents that have text array with at least two tags inside, AD and U. So those two values, AD and U, must be present in text array. Next example, text size 4. We are looking just for documents that have text array with four elements. So exactly four elements. Let's switch to MongoDB shell and practice this. So first operator is all. I will query same text array. Here it is. So text, colon, then curly braces, then operator dollar sign all, colon, and here is an array of elements. So first element id for example, next element ad. So I am looking for array text that has at least elements id and ad, independent of the order. Command enter. And here are results. So first document that has id and id tags, and second document ad and id. So just two documents found. Let's replace id with veniam, for example, id and veniam, command enter. And in the results now I see documents that have id and veniam. And there are four such kind of documents. You can switch to table view and see that there are four documents. Let's execute now query with size operator. So text, colon, curly braces, dollar sign, size, colon, four. I am looking for text array that has four elements inside. Command enter. And here are results. And each document has exactly four elements in the text array. So here it is. And there are totally more than 50 such kind of documents. In our sample data, text array consists of strings. What if array will contain documents instead of strings or numbers? This array will be called array with embedded documents. Let's talk about this next. See you.